I love this game. I grew up playing it all the way through. Youth, high school, college. I got a great education because of it. But let's be honest, football is in trouble. Why? Take a look. Still stopping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> While we love this game, we love our children more. Concussions are the scourge of the game. Our kids are still going to play football. So we can and we must do everything possible to solve this concussion problem. Sure, teaching proper tackling is a great place to start, but unfortunately, all the answers can't be found out here. But in here, with the use of technology, we have made great strides. This little device, the brain sensory, this affordable sensor attached to the back of any helmet, not just football, can indicate and alert after a collision if a player has taken a potentially dangerous hit. It's pretty clear on impact, the sensor measures the level of the hit. If the hit was at a level that is often associated with concussions, the red light flashes. Clearly visible to coaches and trainers, that's a sign and an alert to take the player off the field and give him a concussion test. One of the real issues with head injury is that we're leaving it up a lot of times to the player to decide if they've had one. Um, there are consequences associated with a player coming forward, saying I've gotten hit, I have a head injury, I don't feel right, coming out of the game being one of them. Most players may not come forward. We don't want to leave it up to the player. By having this product, Brain Sentry, on their helmet, as a physician, as a coach, and as a parent, that gives me the peace of mind to know that my kid is safe and that we're not missing something. The hard part was making Brain Sentry easy. Easy for the coaches, easy for the players, and easy for the parents. The beauty of the Brain Sentry is in its simplicity. At the beginning of the season, this is put on the back of the, of the player's helmet. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to remember to turn it on. You don't have to remember to charge it. It just works. When the player experiences a hit, which equal to about 25% probability of an injury, the red light will come on on the sensor. At that time, the player needs to report to the sideline where the coach administers the standard concussion assessment test. Brain Sentry and this Kickstarter initiative are being led by a team of award-winning aerospace and medical product engineers. The Brain Sentry sensor has been in development now for about a year and a half. It came from the real problems that are being faced by youth sports today with brain injury. We're currently at a stage where we've developed the technology, we've tested it in the laboratory, and it's time to take it out in the field. We think we're into something really big and really important. You see that kid over there, number 58? That's my son. Football is his dream. My dream is to protect him and every child who wears a helmet. We owe it to our kids. Brain Century. Every kid, every helmet.